Boy, Coach, I, uh, these are, are tough to talk with you after. We appreciate you being here. The mood, the environment, you get a point, but again, so close to really what you wanted with the full three. Yeah, of course. I mean, uh, having them score so late in the game, and we scored so late in the game as well, there's definitely a, a lot of emotion. Um, I thought we had a good game. We created enough chances to win this game uh, before before so late. Um, so, yeah, that's a, that's the piece that's frustrating, and I think for all of us, it's we've got to put our opportunities away earlier. Um, yeah, I felt we dominated thoroughly throughout the match, and uh, when you leave when you leave a team um, so close, one one shot on net, and you come out with a tie. Painful. You, yeah, you guys have a busy week, of course, with two back at home now, a long flight back. How quickly can you erase that feeling and, and pull the positives that you do have a point and you're still right there and can write your own story, of course, with games in hand, and get it done now, coming back home with two here? Yeah, well, they've come off a very um, heavy stretch, so a lot of credit to them. I mean, they gritted it out at home. Um, and now it's our turn. We've got flight tomorrow and then one day of training and then we've got another game at home. That's what this league is about, how quickly you can recover. We talked about it. There's a lot we can take away from this game that I felt was positive. There's definitely a lot of pieces that we know we need to be better on, but it's about getting our heads up and going again. We've got three more games left and um, destiny's in our own hands if we take care of it. But uh, that's, it's all about the next game. It's not looking back anymore. Rian, you just talked about how you guys dominated that first half. Second half felt different. What did you guys do at the halftime? What did you say? Talk to us a little bit about that halftime speech and why the Thorns came out with their hair on fire. <laughs> I think they fatigued. I think they were very tired. In the first half, they gave everything they had. And um, our team, we talked about different spaces we wanted to attack, especially uh, behind their wing backs. And we did do that, but also they, they weren't bringing everyone back. So it opened up the game, became very transitional. Uh, because they were leaving three forward by the end. Um, so that's a piece you got to balance, whether you're going to stay back and take care of that or you're going to attack. And, and when the game opens up, spaces happen and, and it becomes much more of a, a fun attacking game for the watcher. For, for me and my staff, it's a little more stressful. Obviously, we're competing for the, sh uh, for the Shield. You guys, you know, first round playoff by. What, what do you guys expect to see when you guys meet Louisville on Wednesday at home? A team that's... You know, they've got nothing to lose. Just they're coming into a wonderful soccer city with a phenomenal fan base who are going to be loud and cheering. And um, they want to end their season strong. This is a, a team that's got some very talented players on it. And um, we've we've got a, you know, we've had a game a few days before and with travel. So it's about recovery, rest, and making sure that we show up um, and put on a performance at home against Louisville. Raymond, we appreciate you joining us here on the show. As we always do, we'll see you back Wednesday with Louisville Sunday. Another big one, of course, with Chicago. Again, you get a chance to write your own story and come back home and celebrate with the fans and maybe become top of the table one week from now. We'll have more smiles on the postgame show. Enjoy the flight back. Be safe. Thank you so much. Thanks, Ryan. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it.